So I don't think about it much myself now, though I don't give speeches on it. I never have given a speech. I've been offered lecture fees to go places. Uh, I didn't find it all that much uh, enjoyable. Watergate is not a big part of Emmiston's life now, but at one time, it was. For more than a year, he served as the number two lawyer for the Senate committee investigating Watergate. The moment he remembers most is the day the committee subpoenaed President Nixon. We went in with a subpoena, and Mr. Nixon, uh, he was there, but he didn't personally accept it. I, I saw him over in the corner, and his uh, assistants accepted the subpoena. Edmiston says the important lesson from Watergate is that our system of government works. When Mr. Nixon flew across this country and resigned in midair, you know, the stock market went up and down a little bit. But we didn't lose this country. None of our institutions fell. And it shows that you must keep alive the three branches of the government so they can watch over one another. Edmiston brought a few members of the committee back to North Carolina when he became Attorney General. He admits the attention he received during the hearings helped in his bid for Attorney General. Well, I think there's no doubt about that. I, I think a lot of people had seen me with Senator Irvin, but I don't think it was the deciding factor whatsoever because, very frankly, I had done my homework for years in traveling with the senator, meeting people in the state. And I, I haven't dwelled on, on Watergate. Edmiston's office is cluttered with many of his mementos from the Watergate hearings. He claims the only book he has read about Watergate is the one his boss, Senator Sam Irvin, wrote. Edmiston was probably best known during the hearings because he always sat behind Senator Irvin. Some have claimed Edmiston sat there to get publicity. You know, that, that charge has always amused me because cameras were everywhere all the time. So, no, that's ridiculous, but I find it funny. Brenda Summers, WBTV News, Raleigh.